I've had some people asking in comments about, do I have a guide on how to get the family into WOW? And the first thing that I think is important to talk about with this is the parental controls that you can use in WoW. I play WoW with my kids and sometimes we stream it. We started out doing kind of like uh, home videos that we'll be able to look back on later. Didn't think anybody would care or look at it. And then one of them got like 70,000 views and that was, uh, that was crazy. And any online game that you might play with your kids or let your kids play, I think it's important to go and look at the different parental controls that are there. The first thing is setting up an account for your kids. If they are 13 or older, they can have their own account. I would recommend that you use a, an email that you control to make the Battle.net account. Don't make a sub account on your own account. You can technically play together at the same time with that, but for events like Plunderstorm, uh, you won't be able to, to do those together because those are based on the Battle.net account, not on the different sub accounts. So you wouldn't be able to play Plunderstorm together necessarily. From what I've seen of blue posts from Blizzard on the uh, forums, they recommend that you use an account that you control, uh, an email account that you control to start a new Battle.net account, which you can then transfer to your kids when they are of age. Once you've set up your account, you've got it, you've got it going. You can go and find the account page at battle.net. And once you're on the account page, you're going to see parental controls over on the left here. And you're going to click, click that and it'll let you start setting up the parental controls. You're gonna to come to this page after you click that, you're gonna click on update over here. That is gonna end up bringing you to have you put in your email address. I use my main Battle, Battle.net account, the e email address that I use there, that's what I use. You can use whatever email account you have. It's not password protected for the parental controls. It is protected by a code that's gonna get emailed to your email address. So you're gonna plug your email in there. You're gonna get an email that's gonna have a six digit alphanumeric code. You're gonna, you can copy and paste that there. If you don't see it, check your spam folder. Once you're through that, you're gonna be at this page right here. That's gonna have a couple of different settings. The main one uh, is social settings. Uh, this is a page that is gonna essentially determine how in-game chat is gonna work. This is a, an account that I, uh, Recently, it stopped being an auction house account for me and one of my kids is gonna play on it. The main setting that I use, really the, the primary one that I think is important to know about is this account mute setting right here. If you, uh, this is kind of the standard settings that are gonna be on an account before you disable things. It'll let you private chat to anybody. It'll let you voice chat with anybody. Uh, Real ID is turned on standard, I believe. Uh, and then there's Battle.net groups. I haven't ever gotten into that really. Uh, it might be a useful feature, but I go to this page for my kids and I click account mute. And basically what that does is prevents the user of this account from viewing or participating in player to player communication. Muting will restrict text and voice chat, turn off real ID and disable all social features. You have to raise your kid. You have to, you have to be in charge of how your kids uh, interact with the world and it's your job to protect them. I think that with a game like World of Warcraft, the default setting is probably just, we can play together. We can play together as a family and we can chat together in person. But uh, yeah. There can be a lot of toxicity. I wouldn't let my kid in, uh, go to any random chat room. And WoW is a random chat room until you turn this off. Around 16 is when I'll probably start saying, okay, how do we do this? We already talk with our kids about how to interact with strangers, good online etiquette and operational security. These are things we're already talking about with them. But uh, as far as a game like WoW, once you turn this off, uh, nobody can whisper your kids. Nobody can, uh, they can't see chat pop up in the world, uh, in parties, or even guilds. Uh, they can still join guilds. I I've got my kids in their own guild that they wanted to be in, uh, where they can share gold and stuff. But, um, but yeah, in-game chat features do not work and that's the way that i like to have it so this is what i end up this is the setting that i end up using there 
these things like private text chat, listening and speaking, even though it shows them there, they do, they do not work uh, as long as the account mute is turned on. So that to me is the biggest setting that you're gonna wanna deal with. If you get to the point, you can make it so that they can only private text chat uh, people in their friends group. Uh, if you don't have account mute turned on, they're gonna be able to see party chat. They're gonna be able to see chat, global, world, uh, all of that. As far as I can tell, you can't go any granular than uh, muting, muting the account and then making it so that they'll be able to see all the chat except for uh, you can turn it so private text chat only comes from from friends your friends list on battle.net you've also got these settings here uh, in the profile that's kind of the next segment down you'll be able to look at uh, whether or not you have a public profile on uh, the battle not battle.net app uh, you've got can you participate in the forum can you share game data? And once again, this is all stuff that to me, until my kids are about 16, I'm not gonna be thinking about this too much. I've got a few years before I'm worried about that. The forums, I don't know that, the, I don't know that you need a whole lot of right access to the forums uh, unless, unless that becomes something that you think that your kid needs. Uh, the public profile, this I would just turn off. I'm, I'm probably in, until they're 18 and I hand the accounts over to them themselves. Uh, I don't think that's something that they need. You got to make those decisions for your kids. Gameplay settings. This part is cool. So under the gameplay settings area, you're going to have the option to receive weekly email reports, set time limits and, and manage when your kid can play on Battle.net. And this doesn't just go for WoW. This goes for anything through the Battle.net launcher. You're going to set your time zone. And then once you set your time zone, you're able to set a daily limit, a weekly limit, and you're able to put a just a really granular schedule in there as well if you want to. I haven't used this. We game with our kids. And as our kids get older and they might, might get the opportunity to game on their own, uh, where we're not really closely monitoring things, this is probably something that we'll use. Uh, the daily limit, you're able to set no limit. It goes all the way to 24 hours. So they have two no limits, really. Uh, weekly limit is the same. As far as schedules go, you can do weekends only, Friday and weekends, after school and weekends, after 6 p.m. and weekends only, after 3 p.m. and weekends only. Uh, you can set a break time, uh, and then you can do a custom schedule. Here's what that custom schedule looks like. Uh, you can go into any day and then block out hour by hour uh, when they're allowed to and when they're not allowed to. Gives you the details here that uh, the time limit is reached, access to games are revoked, daily limits reset at 5 a.m., weekly limits reset at 5 a.m. on Sunday. And so this is what mine looks like for my kids. If you want to let your kids play a little bit more, you're not necessarily playing with them all the time, this is probably a setting that's really worth it. Uh, also, you can receive a weekly email report. Now, I haven't used this till now. I actually just turned it on for, for all of their accounts, uh, just so I'll, I'll be able to see what that looks like at some point. It'll be interesting to see how much we play. But you can, you can get a, a weekly email so you can kind of see uh, how much time is, is getting spent there. Once you've set up all of these things through their account, you can go to this URL right here, account.battle.net forward slash parent hyphen portal forward slash welcome. That is going to be a site where if you have multiple kids with multiple accounts, you can manage all of their accounts from one page. You set your email address as the parent, as the parental control email. And then uh, you go to that URL, you're going to come up to a page like this. After it's been set up on each account individually, you'll go through here, you're ma you'll manage parental controls, plug your email in, you don't, you're not going to use a password. It's going to send you a code. You're going to plug that code in. You're going to verify it, sends it to your, e to your email. And then you're able to go in and manage all those settings we just went through for each account right here. There's been a couple times where I needed to quickly disable something. For instance, with a cross faction guild request, I had to turn off account mute so that uh, I could get them into the guild that they wanted to make. Um, so, so there's times where you need to do that. 
potentially for some things. Uh, Plunderstorm at first was a little weird with uh, invites and I had to unmute their accounts for that so we could play that. And then you just go to this page here and you can uh, set the uh, settings back. And for me, that's just clicking account mute. Is there an option to block friends requests on Battle.net? I believe that there is the public profile option right there uh so that will make it if you if you don't have that checked i don't think anybody but friends that you already have added to the account can see you in battle.net so i i hope that uh this helps you if you're figuring out how to how to safely or or more safely uh, let your kids play wow and i hope that you have a uh, a great time playing with your kids Exploring the world of Azeroth together, it's a great experience to uh, have fun with your kids slaying dragons and, and uh, do that sort of thing. And uh, you want to make sure that you're doing it safely.